You don't get to 95 years without having some stories to tell. For this Baltimore hotel, that means you hear a lot that are natural and a little supernatural. All right, everybody, I'm standing outside of the Lord Baltimore Hotel, where this is one of the most historic and most haunted hotels in America, and it's just ahead of National Ghost Hunt Day, so uh, I want to check it out, but I need y'all to come with me, so come on. No, 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 I, I said come on, come on, come with me. If you're wondering why I'm a little hesitant, that's because you have the old stories, but some of them are still a little too current for me. When I first got here back in 2013, it was before our renovations, um, and there's one common thing that happened all the time, and that was with our elevators. It would constantly go up, down, on its own, open up on different floors, and no one was there. I've encountered a lot of associates, uh, many of them still here at the hotel, that have shared their experiences in actually sensing that someone was watching them or someone was with them. Uh, we actually, over the years, have had a couple of housekeepers that have left us for that very reason. They were actually uncomfortable uh, being on certain floors. The type of activity that tends to scare some people off, but others are being drawn in to celebrate National Ghost Hunt Day. There's a lot of people wandering around looking for ghosts. Um, you know, it's um, very entertaining. I mean, you'll have a good time with it. And I'm rushing here because I want to see some ghosts. I want to see Molly, who's the little girl that has, sometimes you can see her rolling a red ball in the hotel. Where we're standing here now, 22 documented people have jumped over. If you can't already tell, Mary Kay here is quite the fan. This is my friend Greta, the ghost. She's a friendly ghost, and hopefully that's what we'll see this weekend at the Lord Baltimore. But the joy on her face isn't just because of ghost hunting. She represents There Goes My Hero. This year, Ghost Hunt Day at the Lord Baltimore benefits their mission. We have a fund through Johns Hopkins and University of Maryland that helps pay for the unanticipated cost of treatment. And of course, if you're going to find the ghosts, you need your ghost hunters. This fun device is called a paranormal music box. It fires out an ultrasonic um, beam like bats use for, for navigating, and if something breaks that beam, you get that lovely little creepy music box effect. Um, we have witnessed this work. Um, it's pretty wild when it does, and it's a, it's a little unnerving. Sometimes I don't know what I think about this, but there have been times where I've been like, oh my God, like incredible. It's that unknown that's out there that everybody's always wondering what happens after death. And uh, that's, that's why I got into it, because I'm curious. This event tends to draw in people that are not hardcore paranormal fans. So first timers, you know, when they come in and if they get that experience, watching their eyes get big, hearing them gasp when we get a response, um, it's just one of my favorite things in the world. Uh, definitely not my thing, which made me an easy target for the Get Haunted crew. <laughs> yeah, looks like I'll be supporting this cause from a healthy distance, but if you're game, the hunt is on this weekend. Whether you find a ghost or not, it's, it's up to you. All right, guys, thanks for watching WMAR2 News on YouTube. If you enjoyed that story, why not hit that circle and subscribe? We post stories directly from our newscast right here every single day, and you can watch anytime you want.